What did the pandemic ruin more than we realize? Night shift people lives. Nothing is ever open late anymore. Used car market is completely fucked, as are flight prices. No school on snow days. Price of eating out. I'm in my 40s, but the pandemic really cut the list of friends I socialized with in half. We got out of the habit of seeing one another, and now that things are back to normal, we just made a habit out of not having dinner dates and stuff like that. When I realized this was happening, it made me look back and realize that I was the one who used to plan things and reach out. I made the conscious decision to stop being the one who always reached out, called and texted and I now see that I'm only in touch with half the people that I used to be. As a teacher, I can say that it's definitely affected kids in a way people don't realize. Kids who had their first year of school or even second during the pandemic act quite different than kids who had a normal introduction to school. Many of them seem to have less social skills and higher anxiety than kids from previous years. It ruined me on traffic, for one glorious year, as an essential worker I had the roads almost entirely to myself, it was beautiful. My perception on money. I worked so hard to pay off debt, save up for a new house, get promotions. Now with the rise of housing costs and inflation I feel like money is literally such a made-up thing and I have no control over anything even with all the right decisions. The cost of living is pretty fucked. Feels like it's a more to each their own sense of living. People don't appear to be as connected as before the pandemic. I'm not sure if anyone else feels the same way but my perception of time hasn't really returned back to normal since then. People's driving is so out of whack, my only concern is to make it home in one piece. We were never in this together. I feel like everyone is more bitter now. Like we all saw through the sham of society. Time feels different now. Things just feel off compared to pre-2020 foot. The lockdowns happened during my last semester of university. I've never had an in-person job, only work from home, which I realize is a blessing but also makes it feel like. IDK like it's not real. I have no work friends, have never met my supervisor in person, I do all my work from my desk in my room. It feels like pretend. Grocery shopping at 2.0am was the best thing ever. Now I have to shop with the rest of you hooligans and it fucking sucks. Essential versus non-essential employees, better known as those who had to show up physically in person, and those allowed to stay home. Biggest division in the workplace. Mentally it will never be the same in the workplace. Any type of 24-7 business is just a memory. When you combine social media with a global pandemic it forced all of us to realize people don't suffer equally. In the age before social media, we could rely on tradition or culture to justify sacrificing to come together. Nowadays we must be guarded to not be exploited. Mental health. I feel in five years we'll be seeing studies showing just how catastrophic it was in these terms. My waistline, and my mental well-being. It's my own fault, but I was about six months sober and working out daily before COVID. A few days later, half my department and my co-manager are laid off. I'm suddenly working 14-hour days in extremely stressful conditions. Walking my dog and working out took a backseat to a shot or two of Jack to calm my nerves and whatever comfort food I could get from Grubhub. Life is better now, but I haven't quite kicked all the bad habits I gained from those days. Stress affects me differently, and I'm a lot more sensitive to it than I used to be. Every holiday for 2020 was on a weekend, except Cinco de Mayo, that was going to be on a Tuesday Taco Tuesday. It was going to be the best party year ever. Instead, a week before St. Patrick's Day, the world shut down. Honestly, I don't think we've ever reached closure from it, and I don't know that we ever will. I read in a psychology magazine that the human brain changed in two years what our brains traditionally change in ten years. This post's answers verify that. My social work life, after living like a hermit for two years and working from home, it's taking me a long time to go out like before. 
children's education, mental health, coping skills, and socialization. My wife is an elementary educator, and it's shocking how far kids regress during the pandemic. By almost every measure, this generation of kids is in big trouble. I'm optimistic that the trend will right itself over time, but it's really sad to see. IDK if it's like this everywhere, but certainly where I live a lot of the stores and restaurants still have shitty hours, they close a lot earlier than they used to before the pandemic and there's no sign of them ever returning to their normal hours of operation, which really sucks for people like me whose schedules only allow for late night shopping trips. Another thing I've noticed with certain restaurants is their quality of food and taste have suffered dramatically, some of my favorite places to eat aren't nearly as good as they used to be. Increased polarization of people politically, socially, economically. Modern dating. My ability to tolerate people and their bullshit. Young people's desire to go into healthcare. We won't realize it for a generation or so, but healthcare in America was already chronically understaffed. The pandemic burning out medical professionals and discouraging young people from going into healthcare is going to have a negative effect on the quality of healthcare, not only in the United States, but other hard hit countries, too. It pushed people away from social gatherings with friends and family and mostly replaced that with screen time. It fucked us up socially, we are more alone than ever. Everything just feels off, people are rude, no parties or overnight hangouts, most people nowadays keep themselves busy on their phones and TikTok. My mental health also took a hit. The time before 2020 feels like a colorful fantasy while the present one feels like a dystopian world. Sobriety Leaving the house Goes to Subway I can make a better sandwich at home. Goes to a nail salon I can paint my nails better than this lady. Goes to a hair salon I've been cutting my hair solo for two years now, I'm a pro. Goes to work I can do all of this more efficiently at home. Goes to Applebee's I can provide myself with mediocre service at home. Goes to Walmart I can order all of this online. Why did I leave the house again? I went to go get Taco Bell at 10.00 and it was closed. Gaming. I don't play games for fun anymore I do it to stop myself from wanting to UN alive myself. Us. My sleep schedule is worse, I'm less awake and motivated, things are getting boring, etc. Children's education, attitude, and manners. As a teacher, there is definitely a noticeable difference after COVID in these things. The attitudes and blatant disrespect is unbelievable. I don't take any of it personally so it doesn't wear on me so much, but I can absolutely see why some teachers are burnt out because of it. This might just be local, but where I live, a SHIT ton of businesses closed. I mean, half of them were closed. Not just because of the shutdown, they were closed permanently. Funerals and hospital visits. You need closure and COVID took that away. Niche retail. There was this cool place that sold vintage Chanel, Hermes, 70s pieces. They needed the exploratory foot traffic to survive. Covid killed M. The sense of security. I never know what's around the corner anymore. It's terrifying. Family relations. Vaxxed versus anti-vax, mask vs no mask, Covid deniers versus lockdown advocates. Fractured a lot of my family and many others. People's ability to drive. Drivers are far more aggressive post-COVID, and even fewer people are using their signals. Time perception 2019 was three soon to be four years ago. The supply chain is still fucked six ways from Sunday, with no sign of returning to normal any time in the near future. We have become more addicted to social media. Most of us gained weight during the lockdowns. And lastly, divorces have increased. People realize sharing the same house with someone they love is good but sharing every single second is not. My will to live. Faith in humanity. Causal hugging, buffet dinning and general trust in people. 